at the end of the previous session, I said I would give you a quick overview of what a standard deviation is, what variance is, because I'm heading towards a generalization of the HUP, the HUP, the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle. Uh, I'll find a, an equivalent uh, uncertainty principle between any two uh, incompatible observables, A and B. And to do that, it's expressed in the form when the, the uncertainty, the, the, the delta, the delta A, delta B, if you like, that delta is defined as a standard deviation, which is a statistical concept. So I'll talk a little bit today, rather quickly, uh, what a standard deviation is and what a variance is so that if you've not done any statistics uh, you'll get a quick view. Now it's pretty easy, uh, you know, just doing it for out of a sense of completeness just in case you haven't done it. Yeah, you know, it's about you know, even high school, perhaps first year, you know, fresher level stuff. And for the next uh, one, two, three, next three sessions will be concerned with uh, the creation of this um, generalized Heisenberg uncertainty principle between any two incompatible uh, observables uh, using, and this, this, this HUP, this Heisenberg uncertainty principle generalized, uh, uses the, the notion of the commutator. So expect in the, you know, the final relation that we, that we get in about three sessions from now uh, will involve the, the commutator of A and B, uh, A hat and B hat. All right. Uh, now, the end of this, well, last session, talking a bit about uh, variance um, and in the context of GMV, greater male variance, uh, men, males, uh, like in IQ terms, they have uh, scores, you know, over millions in the population, uh, more spread out. You know, their, their variance is larger, and I'll, I'll probably use that um, as the context to explain these these technical terms. All right. Well, um, oh, oh, one other thing. Uh, you you give me feedback uh, from time to time. Uh, I guess things have settled more or less, so the amount of feedback I'm getting is uh, less. But uh, someone gave me a, a, a quite a good idea that, that I think I will implement, and that is uh, the suggestion to, um, on my website, when I list the, the session ID, like, a bit, like for this one, I suppose it'll be what? Uh, Quantum Mechanics 6. U, letter U, uh, one of two, whatever. And then I'll put the, the, the link, the link to the, to, um, the, the video, the, the video clip on YouTube, and that's it. And the suggestion is to uh, add a few keywords after that that uh, express the main topics discussed in the, in the clip, even though it's only 10, 12 minutes. And, yeah, I thought, that's, I thought that was a good idea. So well, it'll involve a lot of work. But uh, I think I'll do that. That that may be helpful uh, to you, so you can uh, you, know, you can choose more readily what, what which clips you want to look at if you're skimming a bit rather than doing it systematically one after the other. But uh, yeah, so ex expect that in in the coming weeks, months, whatever. All right. So uh, so talking now about uh, the standard deviation and and the variance because uh, these are concepts that are used needed in the generalized Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle, which is what the next few clips, next few uh, sessions are about. All right? So, uh, let's say we have big N scores, uh, for example, uh, IQ scores of males and females. And so, th these are the actual scores, you know, like 100, 110, 150, whatever. Right? So, these, these are your scores. And, and this particular one is the Ith one, right? So, uh, so you have these n scores, all of them, where i runs from 1 to n, okay? Now, uh, the average, uh, aka, if you're not a native English speaker, aka just 
means is short for also known as so an alternative uh, label or word for, for the same idea okay? so the average or the mean are the same they mean the same thing okay? and this um, you know, well English is ambiguous but uh, to mean something is to have a meaning but in this sense uh, the mean is the average okay? so by definition uh, you just sum them all and divide by n right? so that's that's just the average and often uh, the average of these is uh, written, you know, three bars, by definition, as x bar. You just put a bar above above the x, and that tells you you're talking about the average the average value of your scores x. Right now, okay, so that's the average. Now we need the average to understand the notion of a standard deviation, and AKA again, so also known as uh, the root. Um, that's short for square root, so your square rooting. So the root mean, so the square root of the average of the square of the deviations. Deviations you can think of as differences. Like um, a deviation is like how different are you from the average? Like a, if you're extremely deviant as, as, a, as a person, uh, you, your behavior is very different. From, from average behavior, but this, this is in a technical sense. So a deviation is just the difference of a score, so here's your score, uh, and the difference from the mean, from the average. Like this, this, this here is the deviation of your ith score. It's the difference uh, from the average value, the mean, okay? Now, uh, the square of the deviations and why do you why square it? Well, it makes it makes it positive. So I mean, if it, if this is below average, uh, if you take the difference, you'll get a negative number. So if you square it, you'll get a positive number. So the squaring is to make this positive. Then you add them all up, all these deviations, all these differences relative to the mean, right? So you add them all up, divide them by n. So now you've got now you've got the average of the square differences, or expressed more technically, uh, the mean of the square of the deviations. Right? And then you square root the whole thing to, in a sense, cancel out this squaring uh, inside the square square root sign. And that whole thing, by you know, three bars by definition, is called the standard deviation. So intuitively, what what is what is this? What is the standard deviation? I mean, what what is the point? of defining this. What are, you, what are you doing? Well, the standard deviation is a kind of measure of the spread outness, the, the fatness, if you like, of your the distribution of your scores. Now, um, in statistics, in the real world, uh, many, many scores follow a bell curve distribution. The bell curve is extremely common in nature, and there are, you know, there are famous theorems in statistics, like, uh, well, just throwing this at you, but um, if you've done some statistics, there's something called the Central Limit Theorem, uh, which proves uh, in many, many circumstances, many cases, you end up with the bell curve, right? So it's very, very common, and you can justify uh, why it's so common uh, from, from theories, statistical theory, the Central Limit Theorem. right? So, uh, so if, if you think about this, if, if your scores are very spread out around, around the average value, around the mean, well, that means these, these differences, these deviations, uh, become large, right? The, the more spread out it is, you know, the, 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 the more different this score is compared to the average, to the mean. So this, this statistic, as it's called, you know, this, this, this value, is a, a way to measure how spread out your scores are. Okay? Now, um, if you square the standard deviation, so you get rid of this square root sign, so, you, so you're just left with what's inside here. Uh, the square root, oh, oh by the way, the standard de deviation, uh, also known as, you know, lots of labels here, uh, is, is just called sigma. Now, you may have heard in the news, if you follow that sort of thing, the last uh, couple of months at uh, the LHC, the Large Hadron Collider, you know, the world's largest uh, atom smashing machine in uh, Switzerland, uh, they've been talking about five sigma 
uh, a sigma, one sigma is just one standard deviation. So uh, for them to say that they've found the Higgs-like particle, uh, they need uh, five sigma, five of these standard deviations, uh, level of, uh, what's the word, uh, a surety 